Hey everybody, it's me Stacy here at Scrapbooking Made Simple, scrapbookingmadesimple.com. It is time for today's Make It Monday event, and this one is easy peasy mac and cheesy. Oh my gosh, if you like GG stickers, J-E-J-E, -E. if you like their peel-offs, is what they're actually called, their vinyl stickers, you're gonna love this Make It Monday event. For those of you who are new to our channel, Scrapbooking Made Simple, hello, hello. If you are joining me during the premiere of today's Make It Monday event, you will notice there is a live chat going on right now. By all means, pop into that live chat and say hello, hello, and we will say hello, hello back. Make It Monday is always featuring product that may not be the latest from a manufacturer, but could very well be the greatest from a manufacturer. It is product that they have leftovers of and would like to see them go away. And I'm a girl who loves a deal and I love passing that deal on to you. So we try to bring you bundles every Monday that value between 80 and $100. Sometimes it's a little bit more, sometimes it's a little bit less. Sometimes it's open stock, it just depends. For But we try to bring that bundle to you for $19.99, which is what we have for you today. $19.99. No, you cannot order any of this product, any of these, these peel-offs open stock. It's $19.99. <laughs> when you're getting 80 bucks worth of product for that price, it is a wahoo ka -choo. Are we limited in how many bundles we have? Yes. Sometimes we sell out in under a half an hour. Sometimes we don't sell out at all. It just depends upon whether what I bring to you resonates with you. Are you like, oh, yay, I want that for 20 bucks, or are you like, nah, I can pass. So you never know what's gonna happen, but if you are interested or you like what you see, I recommend you put your order in as quickly as you can. Can you order it right now? No, not if you are watching this during the premiere. So if you see that live chat happening, the event hasn't started yet. Our Make It Monday events start after the live chat is over. We, I show you how to use the product, I walk you through the bundle, we play a little bit, we make something most of the time. <laughs> and then I will say, ready, set, and then I'll let a few seconds pass or I'll talk a little bit because I'm literally clicking on the product and then I'll say go. And that tells you that you can head over to scrapbookingmadesimple.com and order the bundle under our Make It Monday category or on the homepage. If you look at the homepage, there's a big thing that says Make It Monday. Just click any of that and it'll take you right there too. Will this be in store? Oh, you bet it is. So if you're a local peep, we had so many peeps in the store this morning. Oh my gosh. We had Mary, and we had Yvette, and we had Catherine, and there were a lot of people in the SMS store this morning, a lot of local peeps. But then we also had Texas come visit. That was exciting. We had a customer from Texas come in the store, and she was just as sweet as can be. And she had just come from her vacation. She did a cruise, and she looked, she looked like she had done a cruise. She was like, all refreshed and her skin was tan and her outfit was darling so you just never know who's gonna pop by our retail store and you are welcome to come visit us Monday through Friday 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. we are not open on the weekends at this point don't have the staff to cover it but if you are if you are somewhere near Southern California we're about 40 miles north of Los Angeles yes we really do have a retail store that is Yes, we're a retail store, mom and pop, brick and mortar. Come say hello and support the independent retailers. And if, if you have an independent retailer close to you, we encourage you to support independent retailers because gosh, there's getting to be fewer and fewer of us every day. So today, Make It Monday, super fun, super easy, a lot. You would think that, you would think, you're gonna you're gonna have a lot to play with that is for sure and well let me get down let me let me tilt on down and we're gonna get started and I'm gonna show you what I've got for you and explain a little bit and then play a little bit are you well I can't say ready okay then you're gonna think I'm gonna turn the sail on okay let's go oh you can't say go <laughs> okay okay I'm gonna tilt on down and, and, and we're gonna get started for today Okay? 
<laughs> I'm hoping this loads on time. We were downstairs talking with so many people in the store. I'm a gabber, man. I start to talk and 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 it, the, the, before I know it, an hour's gone by, and they're like, you know, we really need to go, Stacy and I. I know, but I got to. You want to talk? Okay, so what do we have for you today? Well, today's Make It Monday is all about GG stickers. And uh, if you don't know what these are, they're amazing. They are peel-offs. So it's a vinyl sticker. Inside each bundle, inside each bundle is anywhere. Boy, they just kind of, some of them are upside down. <laughs> I think that's kind of funny. Some of them are right side up. So inside each bundle is anywhere from... 55 to 60-ish stickers. So you've got everything from words, great words, to borders, to butterflies, to bumblebees and flowers. I mean, there's just a little bit of, there's upside down again, handmade, You've got, those are borders, I don't know if you, are corners, I don't know if you can see them. You've got just an absolute little bit of, here's an entire set. That retails for $4.99. You've got tons of stuff in here for sure. Plenty to play with, but how do you use these? So let me talk to you a little bit about what a peel off sticker is, and then I will show you what we're gonna do with them. So peel off stickers are a vinyl sticker. They're an outline sticker, so some people call them outline stickers. It's really up to you how you, what you wanna call. But for me, the best way to start off to see what I have is to get rid of that background. So I just pull this background piece right off. And then all of a sudden I can see what's left and what I can use. Right? So let's get out a piece of white paper. And let's play with the sticker for a few minutes. So here I've got two hot air balloons in black. Most of our stickers, we have the same design, but it will come in black and silver and gold and white. So in each bundle, each bundle is a random assortment and, and I can't, I don't know that two bundles will be exactly the same. There's no way of knowing exactly what you're going to get in here. You will only get one of each sticker, but you might get it in, do I have something where they've got it together? You might get it in one, two, three. So here you've got a handmade in three different colors. You will get congratulations. Here's congratulations in two different colors. So you may get the same word or the, the same sticker multiple times, but it will then be in different colors. So you're not gonna get, you're not gonna get four gold thank yous. You're gonna get one gold thank you. You might get one gold or silver thank you, one black thank you. Then all of the bundles, you're not gonna get four black butterflies, but you might get a gold butterfly, a black butterfly, a butterfly, a silver butterfly, and a, and a white butterfly. Absolutely. So the same, the same sticker, but in different colors of the, of the vinyl. So I've got my, I've got my little hot air balloons and they're super sweet and super easy to use. You take and peel off the outline. Now, most people think that these are very, very delicate stickers. Can you see how it's trying to cling to me? Most people think these are very delicate stickers because they are an outline sticker. But because they're made of vinyl, they're actually really hardy. You can put them on glass, seal it, and put it in the dishwasher. Absolutely, For you can put it on paper, you can put it on metal, and they're very, very hardy. They don't tear easily at all because it's made of vinyl. Now you saw that this one really wanted to cling to me quite a bit. And the easiest way to get rid of that is a couple options. One, I take a little bit of spit and put a little bit of spit on the back of my sticker. 
And what that does, on the sticky side, I get it a little bit wet. What that does is it releases that static and it lets me move the sticker without it clinging to me. It's not sticking to me so much. When I put it down on my paper, will it adhere? Absolutely. So a little bit of spit goes a long way because I always have spit with me. So <laughs> if you don't like that, you can take a baby wipe, get your fingers wet and do it that way or a little bit of water. You just need it to be a little wet so that cling no longer is clinging to you and you can move around with the sticker. So when I go to put it down on my paper, I'm not gonna have to kind of like be shaking it off to get it off me. So write down onto white paper. Easy peasy mac and cheesy. And it almost feels like you've heat embossed this because it's raised. So you can feel it. It looks like you took a stamp and then threw black embossing powder over the top and did some heat embossing. Now what you do with it is up to you. You can color it to anything you want. You can use watercolors, you can use Copic markers or Ozzy Andrews alcohol markers or permanent markers. Hmm, I wonder if I can, I wonder if I've got little pieces in here that need to come out. I think those little pieces need, oh they do, they need to come out. But I don't know if I'm even gonna bother. So any kind of now uh, coloring medium, you are free to use with these. And I'm just putting it on 80 pound white paper. So if I wanted to grab my Ozzy Andrew markers, my alcohol ink markers, I could go in and literally just start to color. And because my sticker is black, it doesn't matter if I get some of my ink on my black sticker because it's just going to absorb. It's going to absorb no problem at all. Do I want to do them all that color? Sure, why not? So talk about a quick and easy craft for kids. You can put the stickers down on paper for them. Put out some colored pencils something that is easy for them to use that doesn't make a mess and they can go in and literally start to color. And again, you're going to get between 55, 60, you might get 61, it's possible. Sheets. Some sheets have two main stickers. Some sheets have six main stickers. It just depends. And you just go in and color. And again, because this is a black sticker, I can go right over the sticker and the color isn't going to show. It's going to resist. Oh, I don't know. It really doesn't get much easier than this. And if you're hosting some kind of a little craft class at church, at school, for your neighbors, for Girl Scouts, for Boy Scouts, this is such an easy way to go. Okay. 
and I color in. So piece of cake. Right? So all I did was grab a piece of white paper, grab my peel off, took it right off the sheet. See how it's wanting to cling to me? See how it's, it's staticky, it's vinyl. So it's very staticky and it just wants to grab onto everything. So a little bit of, a little bit of spit or your baby wipe or some water, not much. Just enough to kind of take that static away. See, look at that. That's what we want. And give me the opportunity to be able to move around with it without it sticking to me and sticking to itself. Put it right down on your paper and then you're good to go. Now you can choose to cut around it if you want. You can choose to leave it and matte this, which would be super cute. We might do that later. But the black, the black, doesn't it gives you the opportunity to color in but it doesn't give you the opportunity to change the color of the sticker you're like huh well remember i told you that these come in a variety of colors so white gold silver and black but do you have to keep them white gold or silver absolutely not no not at all Let's say we take a, well, maybe we'll do, maybe we'll do this one, this one, and this one. Let's say we take a silver and we want to change the colors. Maybe you don't need a silver butterfly. Maybe you want a butterfly that has a, a different color to it. Maybe you're trying to match paper that you have. So I've got my silver butterflies. And again, for me, it's always easier if I peel off my backing. It's entirely up to you. You don't have to. But if I peel off my backing, I'm able to see really what I have. And I just let this go. Then I'm able to take any alcohol ink marker, again, Couture Creations. You know, I really wouldn't use Copics on this because the ink is very, very expensive. Couture Creations alcohol ink markers are like $1.99 and we have a bunch of colors. So I don't think I'll put them on sale because this is an expedited order and that would take us a long time to pull. But Bix, Sharpies, Couture Creations alcohol, the Sizzix alcohol ink markers will also work. Maybe I put those on, I don't know, I'll think. But the easiest way to color these is with some form of an alcohol ink marker. And I can literally change my color. So I'm starting with a silver butterfly. I can add a little bit of yellow. I know, shocker. And then because this is silver, silver tends to lean more towards cooler colors. So I might go with my blues and maybe my purples and perhaps my pinks. And I can go in there and up to me, I can do it a couple different ways. I can add some color, scribble, 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 and then kind of schmoosh, schmoosh, schmoosh. Or I can just scribble, 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 and let it be. And then let's add maybe a little bit of purple. And scribble, scribble, scribble. Scribble, scribble, scribble. I tend to like to smudge it a little bit just so it's got kind of a softer demarcation line. And there we go. And then maybe just a little bit of blue. And scribble, scribble, scribble. Kind of smush, smush, smush. So that all my colors kind of go into each other. Now you may look at that and say, Oh, I don't think so, Stacy. That looks like kind of a hot mess. 
And let's do a really good hot mess, shall we? Let's do a really, really, really good hot mess. Let's go. So some pink. Let's see if I can get it down here a little closer. So some pink. And I'm not caring where I put that color. I just kind of put it all over. All over. And then maybe some orange. And same thing. I'm not going to care where it goes. I'm just scribble, scribble, scribble. So here I was a little more, more thoughtful in where I put my color in here. I'm just have at it. And then maybe some darker pink. And then, should we add some blue? You think I'm crazy? A little bit. So scribble, scribble, scribble. Right now, that looks like a hot mess. Now, I didn't take my finger and blend it. I'm just going to let it be. But let's see what we've got. So I'm going to peel the first one off that I did. A little bit of spit on my back, on the back of it, just a little bit. Let's bring over my paper. And look at how pretty is that. This is what I've left behind. And there is a way to cut this out and use this piece as well. But for today, look at how pretty is that. Wasn't difficult at all. A little more thoughtful where I put my color. But then I have this one. It's kind of all over the place. Let's see what I get. Peel up the outline aspect of it. It no longer looks so much like a hot mess. So I don't have to keep them the color that they are when they are gold or silver or white. I can absolutely go in there and change my colors to what I want them to be, right? Pretty. Let's open up a, let's open up a gold. Gold tends to lend itself to more warmer colors. So your reds and your greens tend to look beautiful on the golds. They look nice on the, on the silvers, but the reds tend to look a little more pinky on silver, where a red on the gold looks red. So here I've got, let's take it off. Here I've got some toppers. So three different toppers. And let's just do one of them to start. So let's grab my, I'm gonna grab my red and I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna do some red, 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 red. And some red, 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 red. Some red, red, red. And wherever I see a flower, I'm just going to do some red. Okay, so I've got some red, 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 red right over the tops of those flowers. 
Now let's go back and do some green, 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 green. So I've got my stems. And the only thing I'm not going to try and get ink on is this outside border. I'm going to try and leave that as gold as I can, but if I get it everywhere else, so be it. And I'm just scribbling away. The only thing I'm trying to do is not go outside that frame. I just scribbled away. I could even add some orange in there if I wanted. And then wipe off my marker to get that red off so it's orange again. I think I'm, I think I'm good. So let's grab another piece of white paper. And let's peel it off and see what we get. So this is what I start with. Actually, this is what I started with. This is what I've got now, which doesn't look great because it's scribbled all over the place. But when I take the peel off and I peel just the outline portion, a little bit of spit or a baby wipe on the back, no judgment please. Somebody turned me into the health department for doing this. I'm like, really? <laughs> Do you ever look an envelope? <laughs> and down I go. Now look at what I have. From something like looks. Looks like this. When you start, when you finish, looks like this. Now I can't guarantee you that everybody's going to get this sheet. There's, every pack's going to be a little bit different. If you get this sheet, you might get it in gold and silver and white and black. You might just get the gold and silver. Somebody else might get the white and black. Every pack is different, but there's anywhere between 55 and 60, maybe a few more sheets to do this with and that's taking the gold. So now we've taken the black and we just colored the black, just put it right down and colored the black. And we took the silver and changed the coloring of the silver and now the gold. So that leaves white and white's pretty cool too. because where silver lends to more warmer colors and no, silver lends to cooler colors and gold lends to warmer colors. So silver lends to your purples and your pinks and your blues, where gold lends to your greens and your oranges. No, yes, green, oranges, and reds. The white, the white is for anything. Now this is very hard to see because it's white, but the minute I get rid of that background, you have a better opportunity to see what's there, right? 
and then white white will do any color it doesn't lend to warms or cools it's perfect for anything that you want let's grab a piece of paper and these are corners and so let's they're kind of wintry corners so if I color them well maybe I start with a pink well let's just do it one color so one color and I need to give it a second to dry that's why you use a permanent marker an alcohol-based marker because a dye-based marker isn't going to dry on this. This is vinyl. It's a non-porous material. I need this to dry and the only way to do that is with an alcohol-based marker. Pigment isn't going to dry on it. Dye-based isn't going to dry on it. So I want to give it a minute to dry. It does take a second to dry. But then I'm going to peel it up. bit sticky on the back and put it down scribble 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 Give it a second to dry. Doesn't take long. It's alcohol based so that alcohol is evaporating out of there and leaving the color behind. I'm a little bit of spit. The spit also helps you reposition it. If you put it down and you need to pull it up, it gives you a little bit more open time to work with the sticker. So I didn't get that quite on straight. So I have time to pull it back up a little bit and lay it back down. If I didn't have that extra little spit on the back, I wouldn't be able to do that. There we go, that's better. So I took something that was white and changed it to the color that I need it to be. You can model, you can do varying colors. It doesn't have to just stay one color. Let's go in with the pink. Because it's kind of wintry. And then maybe I add a little bit of purple. And this time I'm going to schmooze. So my colors kind of blend and so I'm not adding too much. I'm wanting, I don't want to cover up all the pink, but I do want to add a little bit of that purple and then maybe just a touch of the blue. which is now blended kind of with that pink to make almost a darker purple. And then let's grab another piece of paper and let's put them down. So they truly are easy peasy to work with. And they're affordable when you get so many Even when they're not on sale, they're affordable, but holy smokes for a Make It Monday, this is a great deal. I just can't tell you exactly what you're going to get in the bundle. You have to be okay. You're not gonna get 14 of the white ones like this. The most you could get is four of these. 
one white, one gold, one silver, one black. Now look at them. So I did them in blue. I did them in beautiful alcohol inking colors. Look at how pretty is that? You can leave them white if you want them white. The point is you have lots and lots of options with these. So now we've got the white. We've got the gold. And does the color rub off? No, it's a permanent marker. We've got the silver and we've got the black. All made incredibly easy out of vinyl peel off stickers. That's what they're called, peel off stickers and you use them however works best for you. There's no right, there's no wrong. There's just options. And really that's what it's all about, options, having oodles and oodles of options to play with. Now with the borders, let's pull out a borders. So here I've got a border set. And it's in gold, so I'm gonna stick to the warmer tones. Again, I'm going to peel off the back. And with these borders, you've got a design and then you've got straight lines and a design and then straight lines. So let me show you. So what colors? Let's grab a red. And let's grab Maybe uh, my green. So I don't have to use the whole border if I don't want to. And I might even grab a dark blue. see what blue this is. Oh, that's beautiful. I think I'm good. So now I've got my three borders, three different colors, and I'm going to cut there because I'm not going to, I'm not going to waste this. I'm going to use this. Maybe I want to use that at another time. I got to get that blue just a little bit farther down. So I'm going to save these for later. And you're like, well, you got a little red and a little blue on there. I did. I can just take a little bit of alcohol ink or hand sanitizer. And 
and wipe it off. That way I don't waste those stickers. So if I've done something and I don't like what I've done, don't peel it off. Just take your alcohol ink, your hand sanitizer, your, I wouldn't use blending a solution because that's expensive, but this is going to take it right on off. Anything that's going to work with an alcohol-based product, hand, hand sanitizer is perfect. So then I can use those later. Come back here and let's pull my red. And let's pull my green. And let's pull my blue. All from what started as gold. Oh, ah, I know they're pretty incredible. Are we getting rid of Gigi stickers? No, we are not. But we have new ones coming in. So we said, let's, let's work with them and move the older ones out and let's bring some new sets in. Now there's still product left. See these lines here? There's still stuff left to be done. Now I have got these super fine lines that I can use oh, I think I'll take the green And I can use them to border out whatever it is I'm working on. You see those pretty, pretty borders that they put around? This is how they do it. And the nice thing about these is that you can just, you don't have to cut them. You literally can just snap them right off they just snap right off so you can create your border you don't even have to cut it you just snap right off and trim them down there's so much in these to use they give you so much product and remember I just took a piece of it I didn't even use the whole thing. And then do we want to, gosh, then you could go in and you could, but there's lots to be done. So I have all of these reds here. That I haven't even used yet. And these are just snippets because I didn't use the full border. But look at how easy peasy it is. From that to that. And the words are going to be the same. The words are going to be simple for you to use as well. Let's say we have a thank you.
and maybe you're creating something. I'm going to peel off the back because it's easier for me to see. So it's hard for me to see. Thank you, thank you, thank you. But the minute I get rid of that backing, then I have a much easier time seeing what I'm working with. Now I can see, thank you, thank you, thank you, and on the sides and everywhere. So now, depending on what I want to do, I could do one in red. I could do one in blue. You don't have to decide until you're ready to use them. You color them to what you need at the time you need it. Not ahead of time. What color project are you working on? What do you need them for? Can they go on black paper? Well, sure, why not? They're not translucent or transparent. <laughs> slightly off but that's okay thank you mm, that one I didn't get quite I got a little bit of white left I got a little bit of white left on my K dot dot done thank you You change them to the color you need them at the time you're going to use them. So you don't want to stamp a sentiment? Easy peasy. Grab your peel-offs. Get that little center out. It's sticking in there. There we go. And thank you. Make them to what you need them. When you need them. And talk about being value priced. Even when they're not on a Make It Monday event, they're still value priced. They run about a buck 25, a buck 50 a sheet. Thank you. So peel offs. Super simple to use. Grab big pens, Sharpie pens. I'll tell you the alcohol ink markers from Ozzy Andrew are as cheap as big and Sharpies and yet you get two, two sides and it's better alcohol ink. Up to you if you wanna order those on maybe a separate order because we're not gonna put it in the Make It Monday. It would be too much for us to pull. There's 108 colors, and our job is to get it to you expedited as quickly as we can. But over $50 is free shipping. <laughs> so if you want these and you're not worried about expedited shipping, go ahead and order them from, uh, we have them under alcohol uh, markers, I think, pens and markers. These are alcohol ink markers from Ozzy Andrew. He has 108 colors. If you've got the Sizzix version, yes, those are gonna work too. I think there's 12 colors. We've done those before, absolutely. 
but we've been able to take vinyl stickers and make them more than what they started as. Now the other thing I want to show you super quick is some cards from, is it Color Play? I think it's Color Play. So I bought these and I wasn't sure what I was going to do with them. And I thought, hmm, this might be a good time to use them. They're easel cards. They're pre-made, pretty much pre-made easel cards. You get six cards and, yeah, six cards. And they're A2 in size. Yep, no envelopes, six easel cards. So what's an easel card? Well, I'll have samples of it for you, but they've made it so super easy for you. You get six pieces that have a score line in them, and these are top fold. Six pieces that have a score line on them. Then you get six A2 panels, and then you get this little sheet, which you can use or not use. Easel cards are so easy. You take the top fold, you fold up on the score line, you take your panel, you tape your panel to your top fold, and you create a little, you create a little, a little a stopper down here, which is what they've given you this plain piece of paper for that you cut your own stopper, but we'll maybe do something else instead. So just like that, you've got an easel card. Or, you fold it forward and you can have another type of easel card. It really does depend which way, what do you want it to look like. Up to you, totally up to you. Easy peasy though. Most people do the top fold and then tape it to that top base because then it lays flat and then you pull up, you're making kind of a little zigzag, just like that. So let's play with one and let's make one super easy. What, um, what flowers do we wanna use? Hmm, maybe we do, maybe we do these. Hmm, let's go in. Let's see, or maybe I do some butterflies. What have I got in here? <laughs> I've got a lot. Let's see, what have I got? I've got a lot. Let's see what I've got. Hmm. Those are pretty. Let's see, three of the same color. super pretty too. Gosh, I don't know. I've got a lot of super pretty stuff here. All right, so let's grab some paper. Start with paper. It's a good place to start, right? Let's start with some paper because I have to put my, I want to put my peel off on something and not my easel card. Um, this one and open this one and this time I'm just gonna go super fast scribble 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 it's gonna take me longer to get it out of the packaging than to do what I'm gonna do and let's take the white butterflies out too So what colors do I want to use here? Um, how about some pinks? Kind of scribble, scribble, scribble. And maybe my darker pinks. And 
maybe some scribble, scribble, scribble. Could you use a blender? You could use something on your finger if you don't want to get your fingers dirty. I'm a let's get inky type of girl and I'm perfectly fine with it. And then some purples. And I think that's probably good. Okay, now I've got some greens because I've got some leaves. So there's my flower. Kind of looks like a hot mess. We're going to go for it. I've got some greens. Oh, I think that's I think that's part of the flower down there. So I'm going to add more pink. Cuz I have a feeling that's part of the flower. some darker purple in that center. Maybe some darker purple smudged around. Okay. So, certainly not something you would just cut out and use. But the minute I take it off, let's see what we've got. I'm going to peel that off. Put some a little bit of wetness behind it so it's not so sticky on me. pretty is that, right? That looks good. And then there's some little butterflies. And then maybe a sentiment somewhere. Let's grab that sentiment, give it a second to dry. Trim this down.
I might need to make that you move my you a little bit. <laughs> Let's see, can I still get it up? I put a little spit underneath it. Can I still get it up? Yes, there we go. Let's just move this a little bit over. All right, well, not the greatest, but it'll do. So I've got that one to play with, and let's do one more to play with, and then we'll make some easel cards. My butterflies. So butterflies can be anything because any color will work. Um, well, might as well stick with what I've got down here. It's taken some of the color from my finger, which is fine. And see, I'm just making a mess. So there's some yellow down. Let's do some dark pink. Now you don't have to do all four butterflies at once. If you just want to use one butterfly, just do the one. Wow, that looks messy. <laughs> that looks messy. All right, you ready to see what we get? Looks like a hot mess, but let's pull them all off. Well, let me get a piece of paper. Let's see. How close am I? No, not too bad. Okay, hot mess. Hot mess central, I agree. But now they look amazing. I'm just gonna trim them down. Zoop. Zoop. Right? And then we can mat this with something. What color do we want to mat it with? I 
gosh, that looks pretty good. I'm going to matte it on black because that's me. And I can trim this, just even this up just a little bit more. Matte this on black. Just using some Stacy tape to put it down. Then I've got my my card for oh look at how perfect this is gonna be. Only I think I'm gonna do this one in this color. This comes with the easel cards. It's the top piece to the easel card. That little butterfly guy is wanting to stick to me. Hello. There we go. So I'm gonna get this down. And since I don't have a trimmer to cut it to the exact size, cause I don't use a trimmer. I know there's a petition to get me to use a trimmer. <laughs> I am old and I am set in my ways. This is this is the piece that comes with the easel cart. You get six, six solids and six with the score line. So I don't want this one to just be white. I'm going to line it up. And then I'm just going to trim it out because that's the easiest way for me to do it. You guys do it any way that makes your heart happy. This is crafting and there is no right and there is no wrong. But there, see, now I've got it done. <laughs> I can then put this right on there. Ooh, ha, 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 ha. Matt that here. Close enough. Bring over my easel card. Remember, I'm going to flip up, giving me kind of a little Z. And now that I've got my card front, I want to tape the top of my card front onto my little my little scored fold up piece. See, I've kind of got a little Z going on. I don't want to tape this. I don't want to tape the bottom because when you close it, well, then look at how big your card is. And I don't want to tape this to here because then you've got this piece flopping all over. I want to tape top to top. Top of my my all my mat and my prettiness to the top of my Z.
These are easy to make. The photo play has made these so simple for you. And they're, I think they're, they're $4.99 and then we have them on like 10% off. Nope, top to top. See, I almost did the same thing. I almost went bottom. Top to top. And now all I have to do is put something across the bottom. And I could grab If I had these in white, or if I had them in black, and I don't have a black a black marker here, but I could take these. Gosh, I really want them in white. Do I have them in white somewhere? I'm sure I do. We'll go for it. Oh, sticky on the back. And there's my stopper. So now my card, let's get it down. Now my card will hold and stay in place. And then I need one last thing. I need a sentiment. So my white thank yous. No. Anybody? Oh, right here. My white thank yous. And let's do them in. them in this color. And then tweezers. Think. you and I have made somebody oh I wonder if that's gonna hold I wonder if I put one more thing across the top just to give it a little more a little more stability little more height to catch it. I put one of these across. Just so I have a little more height for that paper to get caught. As a stopper, didn't line it up great. And the, oh yeah, that's better. Just needed a little more, a little more of a stopper there. And that seems to do the trick. You'll do a better job lining it up than I am, but that will do the trick. You could use a piece of paper. That's what they give you this little piece for. This little piece you're supposed to cut into the size you want and then tape it down to make it into a stopper. But I think that this is better. It's prettier for sure. Be helpful if I lined it up properly, but. There. 
there. I feel better. <laughs> Sorry, but I feel better. Look at how easy is that? Right? Look at how easy is that? Okay. Gosh, I was going to do this one too. And put that on one and mat it, but I think that I think that this will get the job done. Love these little easel cards. Love that they're already done for you. Love that it comes with the the top piece along with your your scored piece ready to go so that all you've got to do is put something on it and you're good to go something on it and you're good to go easy to work with and the only thing they don't give you is envelopes but they are a2 so that should be pretty simple yay for me all right, so we talked about the peel-offs. They're GG peel-offs. They're vinyl. They are hardy for sure. They let you just scribble, scribble, scribble and make something absolutely beautiful out of your scribble, scribble, scribble. These are assorted packs. You're gonna get some in black. You're gonna get some in gold. You're gonna get some in white. White takes all colors. Well, the, the gold and the silver do too, but the gold and the silver tend to lean more towards the silver, your cooler colors, your golds, your warmer colors. Look how beautiful they are. Change them to whatever you want. And for $19.99, you're going to get enough to keep yourself busy for quite some time. <laughs> this is a great craft for kids seniors, anybody who's not overly crafty. They're so successful because all they've done is scribble, scribble, scribble. Whether you make them into an easel card or not, up to you. All right, so what we have on sale is the GG pack. And you know, some of them are going to have 55, but you may end up getting a few of the, the extra kits where there's more, even more in there. I think this is a three pack and there's more in there. So you may end up with that. You may end up with 62. They're manually counted and put in there. So regardless for $19.99, whether you end up with 55 and you have a couple of these bonus packs or you end up with 62 and none of the bonus packs, it all is going to work out in the wash. And then we have the easel cards six easel cards, everything you need, but the envelopes for A2. So these are your two Make It Monday items. That's it, really, that's all we're gonna put in there. Make it easy peasy simple. And then if you want, Ozzy Andrew has 108 colors. Maybe we should do some sets of these. Hmm, I suppose maybe we could do that. Maybe we could do a couple sets of these. I don't know, I'll have to think. If not, then order them on a separate order. They're two dollars, a buck ninety nine each. Anything over fifty dollars gets you free shipping. Keep these on a Make It Monday because if you wanted to expedite, it has to be things only that are in the Make It Monday category. So you could order these on one order and then these on another, and it would not impede these getting to you faster. These would just be a regular everyday shipping but they're a great price and they work great. So let me show you some samples. Love the one that I did. We're gonna photograph that and do that one too. So you've got the one that I made using the easel. And then we've got here using the easel. Now this has the easel going in the opposite direction so that you can have the piece coming off the top. So instead of folding the easel back, we folded the easel forward, giving you an element that can pop. The little butterfly is acting as the stopper, see? Just fussy cut it out and taped it down and it's acting as the stopper. And you've got the peel-offs. We've got the thank you. 
you've got the easel. Here you've got the butterfly on pattern paper and fussy cut out and the thank you. Just kept it white. How pretty is that? And this one we felt folded forward. If you fold forward, you've got to do the bottom. If you fold back, you got to do the top. These are simple to use, really super easy. So the congratulations and the flower are the Gigi stickers. And then last but not least, so Gigi stickers. In fact, that's the one I used. That's the one I used on that little piece of white paper. So look at the difference. Two different people done two different ways. Look at that. That looks beautiful, right? And on the on the easel card. So do you want it folded forward so you can have an element that pops up? So you fold it forward like a like a tent. Or do you want to fold it backwards? like a Z. This will not allow you to have that element to pop up. You choose. You have two distinct different ways of doing it. You choose which one works for you, whether it's the little tent or it's the Z. All right, you guys. So I hope that you saw something beautiful in here. I hope that the value speaks to you. That's important because I think these are an amazing value. I think you're going to get so much to play with. Are we? We are not done with GG stickers. No, please don't think that. We have new product coming in. They've got new product coming in. And, and it's time that we, to make room for, to make room for the, the new, same with them, to make room for the new, you got to say goodbye to the old. So we're saying goodbye to the old. We're helping them say goodbye to the old because I know the new that's coming in and we will have that for you a little bit later on this year. Won't be anything like this, totally different. So if you love peel off stickers, if you see the value in them, which I hope I showed you today, these are so affordable and so easy and so useful that I guess it's time to put it on sale, right? Ready, set, go. And remember, for your order to qualify for expedited shipping, it must be out of the Make It Monday category. And there's not going to be much in there for you to choose from. So if you wanted to expedite, then make sure that that's all you order and that it's paid for by the date shown. And we will get your order expedited out to you. If expedited shipping doesn't matter to you and you want to add in some of those Couture Creations alcohol ink markers or the Sizzix alcohol ink markers, by all means, just know that your order will then be a regular shipping time frame order. We leave it entirely up to you. If you do a pay later, you must call us by the date shown in the category and pay for your order over the phone, or we will not know you want it expedited if you want to pay later because you really just want to pay later okay <laughs> you do you we want to give you as many options as possible and for $19.99 your money is definitely going a long way so it is me Stacy scrapbooking made simple scrapbooking made simple.com the event our make it Monday event for today has started I hope you enjoy I will see you on Thursday for I think it's say yes to spellbinders 5 p.m. Sunday California time, 7 p.m. Central, 8 p.m. Eastern. We will be live chatting through that. So until then, it is me, Stacy, Scrapbooking Made Simple, scrapbookingmadesimple.com, saying I will see you next time. Bye, everybody.